Hey, I'm Scott from Bartlow's Barbecue, and today I want to talk about is it possible for a family of four to cook on the Pit Barrel Junior? Well, to find out, I had to sell all of my Kamado Joes, my Classic 2 and my Joe Junior, uh, and their tables uh, to save up for a Kamado Joe Big Joe, which is on back order and I won't receive until march which is a reason why you're seeing a ton of pit barrel videos so i use that as an opportunity to see can the pit barrel junior for a whole entire month or two provide for my family of four as my primary smoker so today's video is highlighting my journey of cooking just on the pit barrel junior so stay tuned just heard the news i sold my kamada joes to get the big joe why did i do it well the short answer is i'm doing more catering and larger cooks and i decided to sell those so that i could save up to buy the big joe so uh, if you want to see that unboxing video be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video when it comes up again it's on back order so it'll be here hopefully in march and who knows i'll probably add another kamada joe jr because i know it's one of my favorite grills as well but today's video is all about the pit barrel junior if you have a small backyard space or a situation where you're like I, I can't afford or i can't have the size of a huge grill i need something small what can a small grill produce what can a pit barrel junior produce for a small family or even an individual well right now i just want to do a highlight reel showing you all the different cooks that i've been doing for my family for so let's fire it up and show you what we did first on the list was a three pound tomahawk steak that we reverse seared and seared at the end plenty for my small little family and then next up was a pork tenderloin cut it in half because it was so huge i was able to feed my neighbors with this thing and then another evening we were able to do some vegetables and a whole chicken we love chicken as the bartlow family and then we did a barbecue meatloaf season right there it was delicious plenty about uh to feed our family of four and then it was a rib night look at the coloring and boning on that and then we did another whole chicken uh during this test and we just love chicken and then next up was uh, some hamburgers so you could probably get 10 to 15 burgers on here if you make them uh, the right size uh, and then we finished it off with some chicken wings about 15 chicken wings I hope you well, enjoy I hope you enjoyed that highlight reel of all the different things that I cooked on and really uh, there's so much more that you could do on the Pit Barrel Junior, but that's a few things that we did. Now, if you're new to Pit Barrel, I thought I'd take a moment just to give you a quick overview about the Pit Barrel. So this is the Junior model, which is about 13 inches in diameter when it comes to the grill cooking space, maybe 13.5. And it's 18 uh, gauge steel with porcelain enameled uh, inside of this cooker, which just means it's been pressure cooked uh, in preparation, like kind of this high glass cook that uh, goes on metal uh, and it allows it to just be super efficient and absorb a lot of heat and be um, in the way that it's cooked being a round barrel it just has that convection cooking that's going to just circle your food as you're cooking and just produces awesome meat so that's just a quick overview most of the pit barrels are going to come with the rebar here two of them and then it's gonna come with some grill, one grill grate most likely, an ash um, and charcoal basket. Uh, the ash pan, I believe, is an add-on. Uh, and it comes with a stand and some probably just a certain amount of hooks just to get you started. And it will range from $2.99 all the way up to like $5.99 or maybe even higher. I'll make sure I have the accurate numbers on the screen as I'm talking, but the junior, um, that's just a quick overview. Two uh, rebars. Uh, it's got two handles here. It comes with a stand, 13, 13 and a half uh, inch cooking space. Uh, room for you to grill directly uh, with a grill grate or to hang and smoke meat 
uh, low and slow over time. So that is just a quick overview of the junior. Let's talk about the accessories and my learnings of cooking for a family of four. So the next portion is gonna be all about the accessories on the pit barrel, especially that fit on the junior and actually all these accessories fit on all of the different sizes of pit barrels. But man, I will tell you, having some of the additional accessories will maximize a smaller pit barrel junior to be able to go further and faster and just have delicious food. The first one is uh, hooks. Now these come with the pit barrel junior and a certain amount, but I will tell you it comes with four already. So if you're a family of four, you're, you're golden, uh, but you could buy more hooks. You could easily fit probably 10 hooks on here on the pit barrel junior, but for four, you're easily with just everything spaced out. One of my favorite things to cook, and it's my uh, wife's and daughter's favorite thing about the pit barrel is making steaks on the pit barrel just because like you're having direct heat and you've got enough distance and it's just that circular heat around the uh the pit barrel and the food and then you get the drippings uh no matter what you're cooking but on steaks directly on that uh, lump charcoal or charcoal that you use and just that smoke fog <laughs> comes over your food it just it is uh, just an amazing flavor uh, profile when it comes to uh, cooking directly over heat. So steaks is uh, and these hooks are fantastic. Now I do, uh, you know, ribeyes. I've done. Uh, I've done a tomahawk um, ribeye on here. I've done pork steaks. Um, I've done all sorts of steaks on here, different sizes, uh, very large to very small. And again, super efficient. And is actually in some ways, it's my favorite way to cook steaks even over my Kamado Joe. And I love my Kamado Joe. And I'm telling you, just directly over fire hanging your food, it just tastes amazing. So really to help you really contemplate, can you cook for a family of four uh, with hooks? A hundred percent, you've got plenty of space. You can even add uh, a few more hooks and have some guests over easy. So let's talk about that. Uh, hooks are very uh, important. We'll talk about another accessory that I have learned and is uh, one of, has become one of my favorite accessories is their sausage hanger. Now you could do regular Italian sausage, you can do brats and uh, pork sausage. And those are the three that I predominantly cooked on this past month, almost like three days a week cooking. I've built a relationship with a local farmer and he uh, sends me tons of brats and sausages and he likes to infuse it with this you know, mac and cheese, hamburger, cheeseburger, uh, infused brats. And so I've been experimenting over this past month, uh, trying different brats and sausages. And obviously this can fit four, no, actually five different um, types of sausages uh, or hot dogs or whatnot, or hot links on here. So again, one for each person, that is plenty. Plus you've got, you know, vegetables and sides and all that kind of stuff. So this has become a great accessory uh, and the way that it works, if you might be wondering about security, it unhooks this way and it has a little knob here that goes into a little notch here and that allows it to open and close. You put your meat inside and then because it's going vertical, this locks it in and then it just hangs on the rebar and you're set to go. So as far as functionality and safety, um, you're not needing to worry about the meat dropping if that's something you're wondering about. I have not dropped anything. Nothing has come un, uh, undone and cooking on this for a long time, but even three days a week, four days a week uh, for over a month now. And so I would say this is a second accessory that I really enjoy. This is one, this is like their vegetable hanger. Uh, this is probably my least favorite, but it still is efficient. It's one that you can literally just fill in with broccoli, uh, French fr homemade French fries, potatoes. Uh, I mean, just you name it, you could put whatever side you want in here. Uh, it works, it's efficient. Uh, my experience, just like anything else, you, I think you gotta cook it a little longer uh, to get it all um, you know, crisp, when, uh, at least that's how I like my vegetables. And probably the next accessory 
This is my uh, by far one of my favorites. It's the poultry hanger. You can hang uh, turkey and chicken with this uh, is the predominant ways that you can cook it, which I have done both of those on here, even on the junior. Now that was about a six to seven pound uh, bird and it fit just fine here. I think anything above like 12 to 15 pounds, uh, you, might, you know, this thing can handle it as far as width wise, again, 13 inches, 13 and a half inches wide grill. So you gotta be mindful of the size. That's the only limitation is size on the junior. But as far as having two rebars and be able to get like a five to seven pound bird on here, feeds 100% a family of four. I've done multiple uh, barbecue uh, chicken birds on here. I have uh, done turkey on here. You can also do tacos al pastor where you slice your pork and layer it with a pineapple slice at the bottom and layer it up with another pineapple slice and just hang it here. And then it gets crispy and you slice it and you got some tacos. Literally this thing is so versatile and probably um, underrated uh, accessory and you might not know about it. So it's not just turkey and chicken. You can get creative with tacos El Pastor. It's pretty much like a, a, a stationary rotisserie when you're using this type of accessory. And I've done that this past month. And that was one of my learnings of how versatile the Pit Barrel Junior is. When you actually have the right kind of accessories, you're able to get big cuts of meat and it, it able to produce uh, a great, uh, great barbecue for your family. The other one that I like, and it, it's kind of the same principle, uh, but I use the smaller one more. This is a corn holder and you can uh, put four racks of corn in here and you're golden. That kind of speaks for itself. So the bottom line is I think having uh, upgrading to the accessories, and I would say if I had to choose 100% besides the, the hooks because they come with it, these two are my favorite go-to pit barrel accessories. I would 100% go after these, the sausage one and the poultry one. It's so versatile if I had to choose, but that's just based on uh, what I've been cooking for my family uh, on a consistent basis. So this definitely can handle uh, a family of four or less. And really you can even go more than four because I've done ribs, uh, I've done brisket on the junior. I've done a brisket flat. Uh, I have done, uh, let's see here, like a seven pound pork butt on here. I've hung ribs. You can get uh, six uh, ribs on here uh, with you know little hangers here and these hooks. So you can do low and slow. You can do hot and fast burgers and all that kind of stuff. Chicken breast, chicken wings you name it, this thing has handled what I put to the test and I've really worked this thing out. It's a little dirty, it's greasy, but that's what barbecue is all about. So hopefully that gives you a little preview uh, of what the reality is of what this junior can withhold and withstand. Now, two other accessories I neglected to mention that I think are important is also, it comes with the charcoal basket, but there's an ash pan with these little uh, clips that just kind of slide into place. It makes it easy to dump your charcoal. Another accessory is the hinged grate. So you're able to place food on this hinge uh, on the grill grate side and then also hang food. So I've done chicken fingers or chicken on this side and I've hung uh, steak and pork on the other side and it's done a great job and I would highly recommend the hinge grate as well. Well, I hope that was helpful seeing the highlight reel, learning about the different accessories and really to answer the question, can you cook for a family of four or smaller on the Pit Barrel Junior? You can see that you can really go uh, and provide for your family easily, no problems asked. And so your biggest challenge is gonna be big proteins, is if you really want bigger cuts of meat, the junior will be your limitation. But the hack that I've done on most proteins is that you're able to cut some of these in half and be able to uh, hang it that way. I, I had a huge pork loin given to me and like, I mean, like this tall, it was dropping before I lit it. I just hung it to see how deep it got. So I decided to cut it in half 
and smoke it that way. That's a hack, depending on when you get large cuts of meat, that might be a way to get around it or even kind of double hook something so it's not on both sides and hang it on the rebar or on the grill grate. So that's one way that you can go about bigger cuts. Now, if you're gonna be in the business of doing like large family cooks uh, on going more than a family of four, uh, consistently six to eight, 10 people, maybe catering, then yeah, the junior is not going to be probably a natural fit for you. But if it's just you by yourself, if it's a family of four or you and some friends, uh, I can even say like up to six people, you could definitely, this could handle all the things that you want to throw at it, especially with the right accessories. Uh, no problems. And so I hope that's helpful. The pit barrel junior, runs around $299, $300 plus tax. So that's kind of what the reality is. Uh, and you're getting an efficient cooker. Uh, again, I think um, people have different opinions if this is an efficient cooker or is it just a really a grill and not a barbecue. But grilling is just direct heat um you know and and kind of flipping your meat and all that kind of stuff uh, where barbecue is going to be more low and slow or even hot and fast but at a longer period of time and the reality is the pit barrel can do both because of the convection heat style if you have it on uh, a lower heat which it kind of zeroes in at that 250 275 and it can get up to over 300 degrees and honestly <clears throat> people have questions about searing meat uh, I have cooked hamburgers uh, at the top of this uh, grate, but I've left the lid off to maximize the flame and the flames have come all the way up to the grill grate. So if you have concern about searing food, if you just wait long enough, the, the fire will pick up so hot trust me even on this little junior it will reach the top of the grill grate and sear your food now there's other hacks i've seen people drill holes for lower grill grate and i've also i personally have also taken um the charcoal basket uh and hung it just right below uh with these rebars and put a grill grate on top of it and that's another hack. So there's ways if you if you feel like you're not getting the sear you want, there's little hacks like that that you can address to get searing. But to be quite honest, I if if you just leave the uh, the the lid off, you'll get plenty of heat to sear your food. So again, those are just some few thoughts, uh, and I hope it was helpful. Uh, and to be transparent, I always try to be transparent on my channel. I am an affiliate with Pit Barrel, uh, and also. Um, if you feel like this is something that you might want to check out, uh, you could use the code Bartlow's Barbecue to get 10% off uh, on that. But I like to be transparent. Um, these types of things help support me and the barbecue journey uh, as I'm doing um, barbecue in my backyard for friends and family and support my family in unique ways. And so this is just kind of a fun side hustle for me. And I appreciate your support on this barbecue journey. And again, if you found these tips to be helpful for you, uh, I would love for you to be a part of this barbecue community. And one of my principles is less hate, more love, good barbecue. Till next time. See you then.